But first, on point tonight, come Thursday, you will see a made-for-TV event unlike any other in history. The January 6th committee will hold prime time hearings. They will be taken live by the major broadcast networks and cable channels. We hope you join us, myself, along with Marnie Hughes for coverage. The country is probably more divided today than on January 6th, certainly more divided than on January 7th, when we were all appalled to have seen what happened on January 6th, all appalled to see the way in which President Trump talked about what happened on January 6th, as were many Republicans. Democrats, though, plan to exploit the division we all have today. Mike Allen, my good friend at Axios, reports that the hearing, the con committee hosting the hearing and holding it, has hired a consultant, former ABC News president James Goldstone. Goldstone is busily producing Thursday night's 8 p.m. hearing as if it were a blockbuster investigative special. That is Mike's reporting. He is producing the hearing. TV executive producing a congressional hearing, not as if it's a sober, nonpartisan investigative panel looking to find facts about what is undoubtedly a very dark day in American history, not as if it were producing a comprehensive look at the events to help the American people understand what happened on January 6th. No, that's not what the reporting shows. None of those. Nothing says fair and impartial like an 8 p.m. Eastern blockbuster investigative special, think Dateline or 2020 back in the day. On the program, we've largely stayed away from the January 6th committee leaks. First, they're leaks, which means they are largely unsubstantiated. And frankly, a lot of folks that we've talked to don't care. They're interested in how to pay for gas, how to find baby formula, and if we're going to war with Russia over Ukraine, to all those issues in a minute. But many of the most bombastic claims about January 6th come from Jamie Raskin of Maryland. He told the Washington Post, the select committee has found evidence about a lot more than incitement here, and we're going to be laying out the evidence about all of the actors who were pivotal to what took place on January 6th. Typically, we learn about this during a hearing. Hearings, what we think about, the congressional investigators, the members of Congress asking questions of witnesses. Hearings to find facts, hearings to question witnesses, hearings to develop timelines. All of those functions are remarkably boring. That's bad for television. What's worse for television, especially in prime time, especially for people producing the hearings, is that all of that is unpredictable. Witnesses can go off script or not give the right answer. They can fight back with a member of Congress and embarrass a member of Congress. We saw that, of course, happen during the hearings. Think about the hearings for a Supreme Court nominee. That's what you typically think of as a hearing. Thursday will be made for TV, not to find the facts, but to present a version of the facts. I say version because of those doing the presenting, seven Democrats and two Republicans. The two Republicans, Kinziner of Illinois and Liz Cheney of Wyoming, are strong opponents of President Trump and have said publicly that they perhaps don't have that much use for his supporters. Forget for a minute whether you think January 6th was a protest or if it was an insurrection. The truth lies probably in the middle. The purpose of the committee is to present the facts and thus convince skeptical Americans of the implications of that dark day and the events leading up to it and what happened after it. The committee also says they want to provide legislative suggestions about how to prevent such things in the future. Putting on a primetime blockbuster investigative special calls everything that they want to do, their very important work, their report into question. Put another way, if you have the goods, if you have the evidence, you release it, you report. If you have a bunch of smoke and mirrors and leaks and hearsay and shocking video, you hire a former TV executive to produce a blockbuster special, which is what we will see on Thursday night. That's On Point tonight. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.